Move it, troopers! On that double! Hello there, this is Todd from the Scoundrels Cantina and welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be going over the major clone divisions and companies seen throughout the Clone Wars. Specifically, we'll be covering every single clone company of which all are from the amazing Clone Wars series as well as the most infamous clone divisions which are from a plethora of other sources. This is kind of a follow-up video on our All Clone Corps, Legions and Battalions video. As always, we're mixing the expanded universe and canon because we believe that there's no reason why most of it can't fit together. So anyway, Let's do it. First, we'll be going over all clone companies, which consisted of 165 men, of which there were 16 sergeants, 4 lieutenants, 1 captain, and 144 regular clone troopers. At number 1, we have Torrent Company, which was an elite company within the 501st Legion. It was under the command of Jedi General Anakin Skywalker and Captain Rex, who were also in command of the 501st as a whole. Torrent Company fought at the Battle of Chrysosis alongside the 212th Attack Battalion, where they sustained heavy casualties, but thanks to Anakin and his new apprentice Ahsoka, they were able to take down the Separatist shield and destroy the huge droid army with the AV-7 anti-vehicle artillery cannons. After this, they were deployed to the planet Teth to rescue Jabba the Hutt's kidnapped son, where they fought an uphill battle with the ATTE walkers, eventually reaching the top and taking the Bomar Monastery. As a large battle ensued, Rex and his men were separated from their Jedi generals, and fought against overwhelming numbers. Did you hear that? It came from the prisoners. Let me show you how it works, clanker. In the end, only Rex and five members of Torrent Company survived, after which Rex set out to replenish their ranks. Where there was the 501st, there would also most likely be Torrent Company. At number 2 is Green Company, which was identified by the green markings on their armor around the time when Phase 1 clone armor started getting customized. They were a part of the 41st Elite Corps and were under the command of Jedi General Luminara Unduli and Clone Commander Gree. When Senator Padme Amidala was captured by the Separatists in Rhodia and C-3PO sent a call for help, it was Gree and his men that arrived for the rescue as well as the capture of Nude Gunray. I am a man of great wealth and I can be very generous to my allies. That is a very tempting offer, Viceroy. In the meantime, I have a gift for you. While aboard the Venerate class Star Destroyer Tranquility, they were attacked by the Separatists who came to rescue Gunray. Green Company, prepare to repel the enemy! There were 21 members of Green Company on board at the time, and Commander Grease sent them to repel the enemy. After a lot of fighting, the brave and overwhelmed Green Company would fight until there was only one trooper left. Commander Gree would later replenish their ranks, and they would continue to fight in the 41st Elite Corps. At number 3 we have the Ghost Company, which was a part of the 212th Attack Battalion, and under the command of Jedi General Obi-Wan Kenobi and Clone Marshal Commander Cody. They were most notably seen at the Battle of Ryloth, where they fought to free the Twi'lek slaves, as well as destroy the Separatist J-1 Proton Cannons in order to allow the majority of Republic forces to safely land on the surface. The most notable members of Ghost Company were Waxer and Boyle, who played the biggest part in the freeing of the Twi'lek slaves, as well as making a friend of a little Twi'lek girl called Numa. Send your best men to scout ahead. Will do, sir. Boyle, Waxer, come with me. Uh, I guess we're the best. Where there was the 212th Attack Battalion, there was also Ghost Company. At number 4 is Tango Company, whose troopers were distinguished by their custom light blue armor paint job as well as their Black Tiger logo. It is unknown to which corps, legion, or battalion they belong to, but there is speculation that they were Beresafi's own unit or that they were simply a part of the 501st Legion, hence their blue markings. Tango Company was under the command of Clone Lieutenant Trap and they were a part of the Second Battle of Geonosis. Sorry boys, hope I didn't interrupt any pleasant dreams. Before leaving Geonosis, a trooper was infected by Geonosian brainworms which mind controlled him to infect everyone on board the frigate. The worms forced the men of Tango Company to go Order 66 on Ahsoka Tano and Beerus Safi, which in the end forced Beerus to kill Trap in self-defense. In the end, Ahsoka managed to stop the worms by cooling the ship to freezing temperatures and the men were parasite free then. Tango Company would also serve the Galactic Empire and earn the Imperial Medal of Valor after the victory on the planet Lasan. 
And finally at number 5 we have the Horn Company, whose troopers were distinguished by their sand green armor markings with yellow horn symbols. They were under the command of Jedi General Eeth Koth and Clone Captain Locke. In honor of their Jedi General, Horn Company painted horns on their armor due to Koth being a Zabrak. At one point during the Clone Wars, their Venator-class Star Destroyer the Steadfast was attacked by General Grievous, during which it was boarded. Eeth Koth stayed on the bridge trying to defend it against Grievous and his droids, during which all the men that were with him were killed, after which he got captured. The other half of Horn Company managed to escape in escape pods and were with Captain Locke. Nothing else is known about them, but they're awesome nonetheless. Now we'll be going over the major clone divisions which were an important tactical level of military command and organization being widespread throughout the galaxy. At number 1 is the 38th Armored Division which was a part of the Combat Engineer Battalion and mostly utilized brown paint jobs on their armor. The 38th mostly consisted of heavy artillery troopers and engineers seen throughout the Grand Army of the Republic manning guns and repairing whatever was needed. At number 2 we have the 203rd Division which was recognized by their unique yellow paint job and was most notably seen on the planet New Plimpto where it started its service in the newly formed Galactic Empire. The 203rd Division had a number of V-Wing starfighters under their command, and that is basically all that is known about them. At number 3 is the 44th Special Operations Division, which housed the unit called the Devil Dogs, and was recognized by the Red Dogs painted on their Clone Snow Trooper armor. The 44th served under the command of Major Kendall Ozzel, who would send them on highly dangerous missions. The commanding officer when they were on the field was Clone Captain Sharp. The 44th Special Operations Division most notably fought at the Battle of Krom, where the Republic was eventually victorious but suffered a lot of casualties. And finally at number 4 we have the 224th Armored Division of the so-called Clone Mudjumpers who were stationed in the swampy planet of Mimban. You're listening to the Grand Army of the Republic broadcast, the voice of the Outer Rim. This next one goes out to the mud jumpers of the 224th, slugging it out on Mimbom. Not much is known about them during the Clone Wars, although after it, when the Republic was reorganized into the Galactic Empire, they were known as the 224th Imperial Armored Division and returned to Mimban to silence a rebellion that was forming by the Mimbanese people. Under the Empire, they were known as either as mud troopers or swamp troopers. We're almost there! Almost where? Where are we going? Just over that last ridge! Victory is done! Anyway guys, this is it on the video and we hope you all enjoyed it and learned something new about the vast galaxy of Star Wars. If you enjoy our content, make sure to check out our second lore channel, The Crossroads Inn, and if you want to watch more videos like this one, the link to the playlist for our other Star Wars stories and videos will be down below. Also, if you want to support this channel, hit that subscribe button for more videos like this one. And remember guys, God is awesome, may the force be with you always, and we'll see you in another video. You rebel scum. This party's over.